when a force F acts on a body of mass M, the acceleration produced in the body is A. So initially, F force is acting on a body. To Newton's second law of motion, we know F is equals to MA. And next, three equal forces. F1 equals to F2 equals to F3 is equals to F. Act on the same body as shown in the figure. Then, the acceleration produced is. So, in second case, we don't know the acceleration. Let it be A dash. So, in this question, we have to find out A dash. So, once observe the diagram, a particle of mass M, here three forces acting on the particle, F1, F2 and F3. And given condition, magnitude of the force is equal. F1 equals to F2 equals to F3 equals to F. The angle between F1 and F2 is 90 degrees. So, resultant force in between these two forces, let it be FR. FR is equals to square root of F1 square plus F2 square plus 2F1 F2 cos theta. Theta is equals to 90 degrees. Cos 90 value 0. So, this term is 0. And we know F1 equals to F2. So, now F square plus F square 2F square. Resultant force of F1 and F2 is root 2F. This resultant force is opposite to the direction of F3. These two forces acting in opposite direction. So, resultant force of F3 and root 2F is FR dash is equals to root 2F minus F. Why? Because F3 also equals to F. And take F common. Root 2 minus 1. In place of FR dash. Mass into acceleration A dash. And we know F equals to MA. Substitute here MA. And LHS side MA dash. Here into root 2 minus 1. On both sides mass get cancelled. Acceleration produced on the same body A dash is equals to A into root 2 minus 1. So check the given options. Root 2 minus 1 into A. First option is correct.